Hello and welcome to Pokesports, a competitive Pokemon podcast. I'm Mike, and for the first time in March, I play with one Pokemon on the field. I'm Kevin. I made it. You made it? I made it. I found my way here to the podcast. <laughs> I was lost for two weeks. I couldn't find my way. That was the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> yeah, it was entirely Kevin's fault. Thank you for being patient while I was out of the country for a whole week and then when we just were like what what's a thursday <laughs> that was what happened last week <laughs> hey mike you ready oh huh? oh yeah it was like no. 10 <laughs> at the time and my partner was asleep and uh, you know just not gonna the deal stars with didn't align we warned you for one episode we surprised you with uh, the second <laughs> boom whoa <laughs> crazy isn't it sometimes podcasts don't happen Thanks for everyone uh, that said they missed us yeah. in my YouTube comment section. Yeah, they do see us every day in a way on the YouTube channel. They see it through your face and through my effort. <laughs> your blood, sweat, and tears. My blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, if you go on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Pokesports, uh, you'll be able to see my recent endeavor to just straight up YouTube poop Kevin uh, in this episode. So enjoy that. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. Those that are watching this right as this comes out, it's coming out later today. Mm -hmm. But those that watch this after that comes out, it's the, what what video was it? Oh, the Enamorous one. video. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I straight video. up forgot that it wasn't Alolan Golem. No, no. Alolan Golem was the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Alolan Golem was just. Uh, he was the star of the show. Though. He was the he casualty. Took... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Kevin, how how have you been? How's all this been? You've been holding down the four. What's new in Pokemon? My daily routine hasn't changed in seven months. <laughs> 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 I haven't done anything. The last thing different that I did, you were there for. It was, uh, yeah. where, where do we go? North Carolina. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> so what, define, <laughs> define yogurt. Define the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to go to the preach for that one. Uh, uh, define page, define things haven't changed in seven months. Okay, so today I woke up. Mm -hmm. I did breakfast. Whoa! And then I walked from my kitchen to my office, Spicy. which is where I'm standing. Yes. While eating the breakfast, I watched YouTube videos, typically true true crime and or stock slash finance related and we or some the occasional pokemon video that pops up we do share a youtube channel and i can vouch for that yeah that happens that is everything kevin watches yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um then as i'm eating whilst i'm eating the caffeine essentially hits my lips and i'm <laughs> like okay bathroom then record yep yep <laughs> very and, good and then i did two patreon videos where mm -hmm. we're using articuno we're going to talk more about articuno later today yeah. Using the Articuno team that won Utrecht. And after that, I recorded a video with uh, garbage Pokemon like I usually do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what was the garbage I recorded today? Um, Kind of a spoiler, I guess. Okay. You guys are... Gloom. 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 I recorded so, a gloom video. Yeah. Yeah. It's an equal mix of fun gloom. garbage gloom. and... Uh, mm -hmm. stuff that just uh, to, to complete off meta complete stuff that you haven't meta. seen in a while like surprisingly our Meowskarada video is killing it for some reason yeah, I'm sure. just like guys we've we've seen this before I mean this isn't a surprise I guess Meowskarada is, is a lot of people's favorite Pokemon uh, yeah I mean people's people the little the, the people uh they <laughs> I'm sorry. You went to Florida for one week. I know. <laughs> Relax. I know. <laughs> uh, when Scarlet and Violet came out, they they had to rethink what their favorite Pokemon was, and a lot of people chose Meowskarada. It probably also helps that the ex this exact same week, uh, the Netflix Pokemon went on Netflix with yeah. Sprigatito as the ace of the main character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm sure I got a lot of residual Meow Scarada friends that were just like, oh, title. What also did very well, and this surprised me because I was expecting it to completely flop, was when I did the Pachirisu video, and I literally titled it something something, 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 world champion, something, something, in regulation F. 
And I was like, we'll see what happens. It, yeah. did, it did great. I'm it like, did very well. I was yeah. like, okay, I guess I should just always title my title something something. No. Keyword <laughs> something something. No, no. <laughs> We can do that one time, and that's that's April 1st. Which is not right now. <laughs> Which is not right now. But it's soon. It's very soon. It's like 10 days away. I wonder if I actually have a decent Pokemon lined up for April 1st. Probably not. I have no no plans. It's okay. I I just have decided that that's going to be my like heaviest edit day. That I'm April just 1st? Like, I'm, yeah, Boink. I'm going to edit <laughs> edit you to, to absolute darkness it's gonna be the most unfunny pokemon ever and just gonna yeah. edit the heck out of it yeah if if you watch the youtube channel to watch fun pokemon battles fun interesting smart pokemon battles that day is not gonna be uh not gonna be your day just explosions everywhere just ex- yeah <laughs> <laughs> just every time i say green pop, screen explosion yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then pop. the video <laughs> just goes out Bop, bop, bye bye. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> bye bye. Um. All right. You tracked. Let's let's talk about Articuno. You you mentioned it, so let's let's hop into it. Kaka. Kaka. It was a very long time ago. At this point, this was March second and third, with six hundred and fifty eight players in the Netherlands playing Pokemon. This is old news. Yeah, this is old news. But uh, one thing that is not old news is Nikhil Reddy's uh, team, which consisted of a Wellspring Ogre Pond, a Hisuian Arcanine, an Alolan Ninetales, a Landorus Incarnate, a Raging Bolt, and a Articuno. The regular Cantonian Articuno, which to some who might have been out of the space for the past couple, couple weeks while we weren't here, would be like, whoa, whoa, what's a what's a Cantonian Articuno doing here? That thing doesn't play, uh, but sure did. Uh, if you told me five years ago that a jump bluff and an Articuno were going to take major regionals victories, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have believed you. But yet here we are. We had a four times rock weakness friend taking a major regional, and it, it, it's just crazy to consider this because. This was clearly built out of a team building group because we have Amir later down in top six with the exact same team, like Pokemon for Pokemon, EV for EV, the yeah. exact same team. So it's like, oh, I wonder what kind of cooking was going on in that group where they were just like, guys, 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 listen. Y'all remember Articuno? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gets Blizzard, you see. <laughs> Let's Ooh. use it. I love that so much. And I love the idea of um, team building groups. It's Mm -hmm. like for you anime watchers out there, it's like Naruto when (gasps) he's like, I wish I could look left and right at the same time and then realized he could split himself and was like, "Okay, let's just do (laughs) that then. I can look everywhere. Yeah, you can figure out so much about a team if you just think tank it with like five to six other people. And the thing and is, great. like, it's not like Snow ever stopped being good. No. Well, Ninetales was used for a while for its dual screens. Mm-hmm. And the thing that I guess a lot of people didn't consider, because I remember Lola Ninetales and Bundle was a big thing for a while. Right. Because at first glance, you'd think, hey, if I want to run a Blizzard spammer, I want the fastest one that hits the hardest. Bundle is the answer to that question. You know, Articuno has base 95 special attack. It doesn't hit the hardest. Right. But what Articuno does that Bundle doesn't do is eat Rillaboom hits like it's nobody's Mm. business. Bundle will die to one Grassy Glide. Articuno won't. It'll sit there. It'll click four ice moves with Ice Terror, have choice specs on, wear Snow Cloak so that sometimes you can't hit it even when you try your hardest, and freeze you. Yeah. Also, Annoying. also very, very important to note the presence of Articuno's ability, Snowcloak. Yes. Snowcloak is nuts. Mm-hmm. That's a, I, I had to look it up and I was like, okay, wow. This thing increases your evasiveness by a factor of four out of five. So that would mean that's a 20% chance to miss yeah. when 
snow is up. And like for you people out there, like think about this, right? You've got an, would you use an 80% accurate move? Nope. <laughs> like, you know that 80 equals zero, right? That, that's hydro pump. Nope. Right. Exactly. How many times have you missed a hydro pump? All the time. Every single day of my life. Yeah. I come out of the shower. I miss hydro pump. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Take a step outside. I miss a hydro pump. <laughs> Try and eat my dinner. But oops, missed a hydro pump. The other thing about Articuno too is um, it has access to freeze dry and sheer cold. Right. So like even ogre ponds don't want to play with it. Even things that are stupid tanky like um, H- H- Hoodra, for example, right. setting up to plus a bajillion. Um, or Chalodon setting up to, to plus six also. You just go for a sheer cold. Okay, nice plus six. I'll hit you eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just kind of is there and can miss right like you you have that you have that uh what's that called Uh, the body body press that would be good against an articuno with its ice terra you know articuno goes for the ice terra now it's super effective uh to uh, against fighting type moves unless it misses Mm -hmm. try and heavy slam a terra ice articuno try and body press a terra ice articuno like yeah you're gonna feel real good about it but you, you might just not hit it you might just Nothing might just happen. You might just not. Also, Hisuian Arcanine kind of popping back in here. I legitimately think Hisuian Arcanine, I don't want to say it's better than Ensign, mm. but like, where are the Ensigns in this top eight right now? Yeah. It's kind of funny. They're gone. They're it's in so last true. place. You you have more Arcanines, you have more Chiyus, and you have more Entes than Ensign, mm-hmm. which is wild. So the thing about Pokemon, folks, is we we joked about this a little bit on the preach too, but um, <laughs> we we commented on the people who say that like, oh, there are only ten Pokemon in BGC. You're always trying to battle against that. Mm-hmm. I think if you're bringing like an anti-meta team, you're trying to break those top ten, and that it does happen. Like Rillaboom was in the top three, is now in like at least the top five to top seven. Mm-hmm. Depending on yeah, the day, it's just like one it's... Rillaboom in top eight right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe because so, all the the Ar- the Articunos are running around just blizzarding them. You know, they're having right. a hard time. Right. So yeah, that was that was what we thought was really interesting about about Utrecht. Uh, we're not gonna go into the rest of the teams there just because it's been so long and things have <laughs> changed. So many things have changed. Pokemon companies cracking down. On <laughs> all yeah. of the emulators and stuff. So I heard there was currently a bug where if you use a golden bottle cap on a certain event Pokemon, it flags as not being legal, even though it's perfectly legal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, you know, I, I try and take all those with a grain of salt now because yeah. after after the last time that we called something out, people were like messaging me like direct and being like, actually. It's all kind of legit. It's these people are just bad actors. So I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't know where to take the information from anymore. So just let them do their thing. Let them cook. Eventually, hopefully they get it right. Or we all riot. (laughs) Or we all riot. Yeah. I just want to bring something else into real quick about you, Trek. On day two, Incineroar was the highest usage Pokemon and only one showed up in top eight. So that's actually very, that's a very significant statistic there. Say that again. On day two, Incineroar had 57.1% usage, beating mm-hmm. out Raging Bolt, Ogre Pond, Landorus, Rillaboom, and Fluttermane. And in top eight, there was only one Rillaboom. I see. So as much as people brought it, the Rillabooms are just getting smacked left, right, and center. If you brought a Rillaboom, you were likely no, to lose. Did I say uh, Incineroar? Yeah, it's Incineroar. Oh, it's Incineroar. Wait also Rillaboom. Really? There was also one Rillaboom in top eight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, no, now I need to look at that. VGC's Cause... strongest shoulders. So, uh, shoulder. Shoulder? Soldier. Shoulder. 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 <laughs> Iron shoulder. <laughs> Iron shoulder. Yeah, there's only one Incineroar and one Rillaboom in top eight. Mm-hmm. Likely both for the same reason. <laughs> Just all of the things that can break them down. Like there's uh, there's a Dondozo player in, in top eight as well. And just all of the, you know, anti-grass stuff with your Landorus Incarnates and your Articunos, your Olo Ninetales is a couple of... A lot of Raging Bolts in top eight, too. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, Raging Bolts great. So many things tried to tear a water. 
these days. That's this Utrecht. Thunderclap. That's Utrecht. Clap. Let's move on. Uh, do you want a Sprigatito? You can get a Sprigatito. Oh, yeah? Does yeah. it say Lico Sprigatito? Uh, it is Lico Sprigatito. Is that how you pronounce it? Or do we pronounce it differently? It's not Lico, right? I really no. hope it's not. No, I'm pretty sure we pronounce it Lico. I haven't watched the English translation of Horizons yet, but... Have you watched the Japanese ones? I've watched bits and pieces. I've watched just the first two episodes, then I stopped because I had to go through a lot of third-party websites that were really shady to watch it because mm. I decided to do this five months ago. Right. But now that it's on Netflix, it's a lot easier to watch it. Sponsored by Netflix. It's I just not. need to like have the attention span to actually view it. That's. I mean, that's fair. I, I would put it on if I were alone. If I had company, no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was just me alone for a night, I'd pop it on and just be like, all right, let's 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 check this thing out. Uh, yeah, if you put in the code LICO with 906 with all of the uh, I's being ones and all of the ze- uh, O's being zeros, you can go and get yourself Lico's, Lico's Sprigatito. That's L1KO0 W1TH906. You have until September 30th to redeem. Do it. Neat. Has the partner ribbon and Some IVs of twenty? That. You can bottle cap that. So you have to bottle cap that. <laughs> <laughs> are they trying to tell us what? Uh... Oh, all of them are twenty. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and say that IVs in the Pokemon universe, the anime Pokemon universe, don't exist, and they're all just we don't selectively 20. breed in the in the anime universe. You know what? We don't. Actually. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. I come from the animated universe. And no, we don't. That's where he's been all this time. Everybody. Yeah, I spent he the last two weeks in the, in the animated, animated universe. universe. Yeah, the AU, as we like to call it. Are you okay with Sprigatito being the starter for this generation? Or Why would, would you I rather... not be okay with that? Would you, but like, would, wouldn't you rather have Foy Coco, though? Oh, you're saying, like, which one I'd pick? No, like, if you were viewing an anime, you know... Are you okay with Sprigatito being the one that Liko chose, I guess? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Isn't there Foy Coco, like, in that as well? Didn't they do the whole, like, Charmander, yeah. Squirtle, Bulbasaur, all under one umbrella kind of thing? Well, Liko only has Sprigatito. The other guy has Foy Coco, I believe. Oh, I see. But here's the other thing that I have a question with. Is Liko going to be the pro tag, like, forever? Like, is Sprigatito going to follow her to other generations? Will this Sprigatito ever evolve? Are we just going to go through a bunch of one shots with new protagonists in every uh, region or something? I think we might be doing that. And then Pikachu is just going to wear a different hat every time. (laughs) It's always going to be a Pikachu. (laughs) Because that's the thing with like, typically with like Pokemon anime, Ash never technically had a starter. The starter was not a starter. It was number 25. So you and can kind of just they, take that and run with it. For they the then retcon that in years. Pokemon Yellow and gave you the Pikachu as the starter. And you actually, know, if the anime didn't exist, we wouldn't have Pokemon Yellow. That's crazy. Is that considered the 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 third game of the? Se- oh, I guess it is. Sure, right? it is. Yeah. Well, I guess that's not true. Isn't it the that exact was same thing? It uh, it was in color, I believe. Mm, it wasn't just the hue. Yeah, right, right. Pokemon Red, everything was that sh- and shade then of it red. followed you. Blue, very green, minor changes. Yeah. Very, very minor <laughs> changes. But <laughs> the color, it was a pretty big change at the time. <laughs> I, I do remember uh, that, and it was, it was great. I don't I, have Pokemon Green. You just reminded me I don't. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I just ruined Kevin's uh, collection. Yeah, I have these three. Yeah. Yellow's in the middle. I don't know why I put it there. Well, I, I think yellow does go in the middle of that. RBY. I should have made red blue. Oh. Is that a like custom case for that? Yeah. Is that meant for Game Boy games? Is that what, is yeah. that, what that is? I don't know. You could take it off if I want to and like un unmagnetize it. Cool. Right there. Oh, it's just held on by magnets. Yeah, magnets. Is that bad for the cartridges? No. Okay. It's on well, we'll see. it's on the edges. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Those things all have little batteries in them, huh? Uh, no. Uh, yes, they do. But I got all of mine replaced before I put them in there. Oh, replaced as in like put new batteries in or? Yeah, you can put new batteries in. Okay. D- 
but like, don't you, you have to worry about? Well, sure, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care about. I don't care about your saves. <laughs> but don't you lose like battery acid out of those things? Well, the thing is, the batteries that they used in 1995 are a lot worse than the batteries we have now. Sure. So the batteries we have now can last like 50 plus years. So it's oh be fine. okay. Got as long it. as you replace them. You ever think to like pop it in a Game Boy just to test it out? Sometimes. I have, but yeah. I never like played played them. No. Nah. Mm. Have you ever played Red, Blue, Yellow? Yeah. Okay. I went back and I played it. Sure. And I do sure, have sure. a Game Boy. He does. He has a Game Boy. I have the. I actually have the Pokemon Game Boy. Oh, the, look at that! Wow, yeah. The Pikachu. It's a little scratched up and beat up, but it's it's nice. I feel like you have this shrine like right beside you. It's not and that far. <laughs> you just don't show it, and that's <laughs> tragic. Because then I have to move the camera. Listen, I've committed yeah. to standing just because of how lazy I am to move the camera. <laughs> I've committed to standing because I'm too lazy to sit down. <laughs> All right, let's continue. We've got uh, Sprigatito we talked about. We can go right into, I don't know, what do you want to talk about? There's the GC, GC3. Yeah, we never talked about Global Challenge 2 either. <laughs> Who? Should I should I participate in the GC three at this point? I'm just Why like not? I gotta I gotta because I didn't do the first two. <laughs> you could do the third. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what the GC three is, the Global Challenge 2024 three is a online only competition hosted by the uh, Scarlet and Violet Game the Powers That Be, hosted by the Powers That Be. <laughs> uh, players enrolled in the Play Pokemon Circuit will receive championship points based on where they finish, and players in Japan and Korea can earn a place in their national qualifiers. Ooh, important. Yeah, this is a very important thing for people on the other side of the world. It's not super important for people with, with championship points, I don't think. Uh, Well, maybe to like a certain select few, because I feel like people, the way that Depends championship points... Depends on how close points, you are, right? Yeah. The way that championship points are divided, though, like I feel like... A lot of people, they don't kind of like eke themselves in that often. It's like they'll win uh, a regional and then they'll be let in or like they'll win a certain amount of CP. I don't feel like there are a lot of people who hover around the 300 mark. I feel like you either blast past it or you're like well under it. Yeah, that's a good point. It also depends on how much expendable income you have to actually go that's to regionals. It too. You know, right? I haven't I've, I haven't actually looked at how many people are like in the 280 area or like the 240 area. I'm sure a lot of that really stuff isn't even this. tracked, right? Like who tracks 280? No offense to 280s, but like who I'm sure they, it? what do you mean? Of course they do. You think it's like available to the public to just see the Oh, no, 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 no. But the people who are, like, yeah, that's fair. The, the people who are in the 280s definitely track that. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is my win and in to, uh, to Hawaii? I see. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, the Pokemon company does track it. Yes, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> it is on playpokemon.com. Each individual person, yeah. I just feel like there aren't too many vocal people who are like, oh, I'm at like 275. Just got to win this GC. But maybe I'm wrong. Do we still call them tweets? Uh, I do. Okay. Because I was wondering what the X equivalent of a tweet was. You zeet. Zweet? Zweet. Send me a send me an X. Yeah. Just oh, I can't wait to regulation X. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever make it to regulation X as a society, we're doomed. As a society. Me and Mike were talking about what we should make regulation G. We haven't decided yet. Yeah. Cause you know just, on the YouTube videos, Kevin's always like, regulation F. What's the next one going to be? Regulation G. I think that's going to be the most important thing for every fan that we have. Yeah. It's just going to be finding out what happened to the F. Like, what where... are we going to do? Yeah. Because we we hard committed to regulation <laughs> F to the point where, like, I forgot to do it twice and everyone noticed. So upset about it. They were like, so mad. Where did it go? This is the thing that I need. This is. Kevin's like messaging me every day, like, hey, uh, you, you forgot to put it in. And I'm like, no. <laughs> we lose 10,000 subscribers that day. They all unsubscribe. Yeah, they're they're all there for the earth. It's just become such a cadence now. It's just like if anything changes, someone will say something. Yeah. Hey, here's something interesting. Uh, 
premiere challenges and midseason showdowns will not be held in June. Okay. Why? Interesting. Um, I think that's just because the season ends in NAIC, right? Oh, that's fair. So NAIC will be the last thing. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. What about the premiere challenge and mid-season showdown at NASC? Will that not get held there either? Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess not, right? Because that is very much in June. <laughs> well, let's read this. Let's see. Championship point earning events will go on break during June, but prizes will remain available at Pokemon Leagues alongside a trio of new foil promo cards. Cool. Uh, as the 2024 Pokemon Championship season comes to a close... Local championships uh, series events will not take place during the month of June. That includes league challenges and league cups, Pokemon Go league challenges, league cups, uh, and Pokemon video game premier challenges and mid-season showdowns. That's us. The 2024 Pokemon North American Championships is the last championship point earning event of the season. So that's going to be NAIC. And the break will let play, uh, players rest and allow for a smooth transition to the 2025 season in July. Oh, so it's just a month. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Oh, wait, the World Championships is in July? Is that what they just confirmed? No. No. It, but, you know they still haven't given us dates for that, by the way. No, that's true. But um, no, I, they're, they're starting the next season after NAIC. So you'll know if you are invited to Worlds or not by then. Yes. Okay. Hopefully we'll also know when that is so that people can, <laughs> you know, mark book their calendars their and stuff, book their flights. <laughs> Do, maybe they don't even know when that is. Uh, well, you know what? Often it could be like a um, a venue issue, like trying to figure out with the venue if, if everything's going to work out fine. Uh, they haven't hard committed to the venue yet, so they can't hard commit to the people. Well, they hard committed to the location. They sure did. How many venues are there in Hawaii? That probably makes it kind of difficult for them because there's probably only like, you know, two or three event venues that can handle worlds. We don't even know which island we're going to yet. Right. There's multiple islands in Hawaii. Right. And again, like if the infrastructure isn't, you know, to the point where they can host something like that, they probably can't. Um I think anyway, they've done Hawaii before. They have. Oh, wrong. they for sure have. Yeah, that, so they've, they've definitely done Honolulu, yeah. Yeah. So they could go back to the same kind of thing. I do want to go this year. I do Question want to is, mm -hmm. can Honolulu handle the Switch? Dun, dun, dun. It could handle the IR from, from oh. the... Uh, I don't know how good the internet is in the middle of the ocean. Maybe I'm just being ignorant, but uh, <laughs> how, does the switch, how does the Switch handle it? Mm. The IR on a DS is a different situation. That's the what last we time the we were Switch there. Two. What if we get the Switch 2 by them? What if they're just like, hey, by the way, we created a Switch 2 and it's out now. And <laughs> you have to have one. And the game only works when you have it. Yes. We have bricked every Switch. <laughs> you need a Switch 2 if you want to play this game. <laughs> We should consider have that thing. Yeah. yeah just put us in charge of Nintendo. We have a lot of good ideas. Put us in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Every single game a new console comes out bricked. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you wanna you wanna give some hype? You wanna you wanna release this thing for Christmas and have everybody buying it for their screaming kids who want it? Nah, I say release it today and then when you release it today you release another update a firmware update and by firm i mean brick like you are going to <laughs> brick brickware. every single nintendo switch one and that's what you're going to call it from then on is the nintendo switch one because the two is here and you need that one if you want to play what are they going to do not play their zeldas no yeah. they're going to buy it Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, more like Legend of Zelda Brick of the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, more like Legend of Zelda Tears of the Gamer. Time to buy <laughs> to Switch 2. Tears of the Children. Tears of the Children <laughs> who want to play this game on their old Nintendo Switch 1. Which is, by the way, what we have updated the name of the Nintendo Switch to. It is now the old Nintendo Switch 1. The old Nintendo Switch 1 and Knuckles. Yeah, and Knuckles. <laughs> you must buy the new shiny, and yes, we did call it shiny, the new shiny Nintendo Switch 2. 
I, I'm, all I'm saying I'm is we've got ideas. Mind. Yeah. You know what? Hire us. Hire us. You've I, made it to the unhinged portion of this podcast. I will. I will work for the low measly sum of $300,000 Canadian uh, for your job. So about 10 Game USD. Break. Yes. Well, <laughs> hey, it goes a long way here. <laughs> Our houses are $2 million and it's a problem. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada. Pokemon sleep is really good here because that's all we can afford to do. <laughs> sleep? Yep. Okay, so mid-season showdowns are gone. Yeah, mid-season showdowns are gone for June, but they're coming right back. So uh, are you one of those people who really likes to go to like premier challenges, mid-season showdowns, that kind of thing? I, I'm not available on Saturdays, but I wouldn't mind them. Mm. If you were available on Saturdays, would you go and do more? I would go. Yeah. Cool. I used to be definitely that person. Like I'd, I'd go to card shops and I'd go to um, video game stores that were holding it in, in Toronto. And I would go to those. They're, they're a lot of fun. It's actually like, I, I'm, I'm super privileged to be living in this area because there's sure. so many happening around me. It's just the matter of me working retail and Saturday being a sin to take off. <laughs> right how dare you how, <laughs> how dare, dare you take yeah. off a saturday how dare saturday be your day off a week oh no. boy kevin yeah i hope life changes for you <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that's that's that i man i used to go to these uh pokemon singles events not like sing single relationship wise no not that <laughs> you're making meeting your next hot pokemon single Smoke on events. There we are. Michael looks uh, like a Gardevoir guy. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, I used to go to these smoke on events, and like I made so many friends doing that. It was, it was a lot of fun. And then you know, COVID uh, kind of killed the momentum of that. Uh, I don't think those happen too often in Toronto anymore. Also, well, because singles has kind of like fallen off in cartridge. Yeah, singles is just on showdown now, right? It's yeah. Like, what more can you do on cartridge? Yeah, it wasn't COVID. It was uh, it was Sword and Shield. <laughs> <They kinda laughs> it was the that. game. Yeah, it was the, the game. The game stopped. They put a timer that it was only 20 minutes long. Because yeah. in their in their eyes, they're like, oh, 2v2 will never take that long. Why and do we need it? And it doesn't. And it doesn't unless you try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I played some TCG online recently. How'd that go? I actually enjoyed it. I was playing a Giratina deck. Giratina VMAX. Was it like a pre-built deck kind of thing or? Yeah. It was it was already in the game, but apparently it's also one of the best decks in the format. Oh, I don't yeah, have any great. of the mm -hmm. I don't have any of the fancy new cards though, because I do need some fancy cards. I, I I'm slowly realizing that trainer cards are just the whole game. Trainer cards are super important. Yeah. It's how you set up your like you're only ever using like what six to seven Pokemon, maybe. Yeah. If that like your whole strategy is to like get these four key cards there and everything else is just supporting that. And most of that is like trainers. Mm -hmm. That's what I've slowly realized. I've also mm -hmm. realized that like you don't want a lot of um, basic cards because then there's a higher likelihood that they'll end up as a prize cards and then you just won't see them for a while. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Oh. That does like really ruin a lot of people's games. Me talking as like the person who barely played TCG. The people who are playing TCG right now are just like, yeah, obviously. But uh, like, yeah, setting an important card as a prize card by accident or just unintentionally is real sad. The uh, the only issue that I have, like the, the app works fine. The only issue I have is I don't have any cards. Yeah. <laughs> only issue I have is I'm poor in the game. Well, they're they're making a they're making an effort to to do that, to change that, right? With that Pokemon pocket game. Pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I really Twice. hope no, you, you just did three. It. No, it's two two times a day. It's two packs a day. Chick. Chick. There you go. I really hope you're able to transfer everything you get there to TCG live. Yeah, I would and hope if you're so. Not, I would be a little sad that you know these little F NFTs that don't mean anything. I get to hold them in my game, but <laughs> they don't mean anything. <laughs> you get to trade them with other people. Wow. <laughs> Here, Mike, take my piece of paper. OG, thanks. Wow. I'll yeah, add I'll that to my, my piece, I'll my add that paper. to my collection of other pieces of paper. <laughs> we say playing $80 plastic cartridges. <laughs> At least that's all we have to spend. 
out of curiosity, I looked up like, okay, if I play enough games of TCGO, clearly I can win a regional in TCG. So how much does this Giratina deck cost? It's not horrible, actually. Mm. It's still what under 100. It? Yeah, it's a, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I okay. don't want any hollows or anything. I'm just going for like basic bare bones trainers no, and fair. energies. So I'm just like, I don't need any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the most uncommon version of the cards that I'm looking for. Yes. Uh, that costs about $100. Okay. Welcome to TCG on a Budget, my new YouTube channel. I mean, it's we got do legs. nothing but <laughs> we do nothing but play with proxies and try not to get caught. <laughs> we go as we go as far as we can with proxies <laughs> until we get che- deck checked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> oh, it's documenting you at regionals. I thought that you were just like, oh, and hey guys, welcome back to another uh, TCG on a Budget, and today uh, we're going to be playing with this Giratina deck. You you walk in, it's just like. Uh, paper cutouts of all the cards <laughs> and you're just like, all right, well first we're going to have to play this. And like, you're treating it like you're, you're using the official cards, but just you're definitely just PSA putting ones. down pieces of paper. Yeah. Being PSA 100%. ones. The, the, the most disgusting, filthiest, actual legitimate cards. A corner's cut off. Like it's a little how, burned somehow. How bad does a card have to be for the judge to be like, just nah, that's not it. It has to be like encased in goo. <laughs> just be like, please review this card. It's like a ball of its former self encased in goo. It's gonna that be the is most the most important part. Too. Yeah, just like a fire energy. Just like cut and they it do have, have and tape together. And they do have to ship it back to you encased in the same goo, or else you can accuse them of of tampering with the card. These PSA mm-hmm. places they have integrity. And then at the end of every regional, I just resell my cards back on eBay. Oh, 100%. Welcome well, to TCG on a budget. If you win, <laughs> then your cards have value. Because oh, then true. people can put them uh, like as a little trophy. Like this, you know, Dragonite, again, encased in goo, is going <laughs> to be sitting on somebody. It doesn't matter. It's encased <laughs> in goo. Is It's going to be sitting on somebody's trophy stand as the Dragonite that won uh Utrecht Pokemon TCG I'm traveling regionals. to Utrecht on a budget when this you're, is, this is, <laughs> this is when you're winning tournaments you can do this <laughs> uh 2026 uh Utrecht regionals Kevin that's how Sidonio. long it takes me how long that's how long it takes me to save up to a guarantee of you gotta <laughs> you gotta cook you know sometimes you just need to take your time to cook do I think that you can make it in 2025 no no I don't 2026 anything could happen you need to you need to take your time to encase your cards in goo you need some time for them to harden yeah fair hey um a couple weeks back was pokemon day and yay have you seen have you seen the people who have edited the logo for pokemon za to look like pizza no oh it's great can't oh, say it's have. so great, and I'm gonna show it to you later. To look like pizza, yeah. They just, you know, you edit out the oh, words. There's PZ. enough letters in oh, there. Yeah. yeah, I, I see. Copy yeah. the Z again. For some and... reason, I thought you meant like. I know the Lumio City map is a circle, so I was like, yeah. they made it like a a pie. They, yes, they did. <laughs> oh, they did that also. <laughs> okay, uh, that was something that also happened. Got it. Absolutely. Uh, oh, actually, it was easier to find than I thought. Here you go. Easy air. <laughs> this is the exact picture I was talking about. <laughs> it's Lumio City. Beside that, it says Pokemon ZA Legends. Pokemon Legends ZA. And then underneath that, it's Lumio City. But, you know, they've put a pizza on top of it. <laughs> it's just says pizza. They've changed the Lumio City opacity to about 10. <laughs> yeah. And then just put a pizza under it. Put a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that's great. Uh, for wow, Lumio City Q&A. is actually yeah. one big pizza. If you think 100%. about it, it's yeah. a street, and they all meet in the middle, like a pizza, like a pizza. <laughs> is that the <laughs> is that the reference you were going for here? It was just a <laughs> bunch of streets that meet in the middle. That's the pizza. You ever see that pizza re- review guy on TikTok, or is that just my TikTok? A pizza review guy. You He's mean like Cushing? from Barstool. No, he's like from Barstool Sports. I wish I remembered his oh, name. Oh, no. He goes around New York and just reviews pizza places. And sometimes really? the most unhinged things happen the second he gets outside. 
I love that. I mean, I would watch that. I I haven't heard of or seen that guy yet. Oh, maybe next time. I mean, it's it is genius and like why has nobody done that yet and also (laughs) lots of people have done that where you go to different pizza places in new york the place that makes all the pizza hey i'm pizza here pizza over here the reason i was asking about pokemon day and za uh is because that was the last episode title 206 uh now we're on 207 and i'll ask you about what pokemon that is later but we have (laughs) we have q and a from that day uh, and okay. the question that I asked was, what did you think about Pokemon Day this year? And I got a bunch of mid, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Big if so true. no one liked it. But no, but I got a bunch of actual answers as well. Uh, Jetpack the 67th says, a hot dog is a sandwich. You put sausage on sandwiches in Scarlet and Violet. Absolutely not a taco. Pepperoni is a cylinder because it is 3D. And if it's very thin, it does have a thickness. Uh, this is a Pokemon podcast. No. Oh, Kevin disagrees. Here we go. One of Kevin's famous hot takes. A hot take. I think a sandwich is a sandwich. Uh Uh-huh. Taco's a taco. Okay. Hot dog? That's a hot dog. Whoa, you just sent it into (laughs) whole like a whole different category. (laughs) What else can be a hot dog? Just different varieties of hot dog? Italian sausages are a hot dog, right? Italian what? Sausages. Say it three times. Sausages, sausages, sausages. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> jersey is here. There are people all around the world who heard that and thought, what did he say? So don't worry, I got you. I made him say it four more times. Sausages. So, Italian sausages. Italian sausages. You see how the like structure of my face changes when I say the word sausage? You are emphasizing it so much more than I I'm do, though. emphasizing it. <laughs> I could still afford housing. (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh, he got me. He got me. Um, Rick Hammett. Rick Hammack says, uh, Michael, it's Kubasa. What did I say? That (laughs) was Kubasa. Mike, if you haven't had a stroke yet, you're having one now. What was that word? Is that Kilbasa? Oh, Kilbasa. It's not Kubasa. Well, I guess if we mentioned pepperoni, we'd... Pro- yeah, it's kielbasa? definitely not kielbasa. Also a hot dog. What? Yeah. No. It's a hot dog. It's just a fancy hot dog. It's so thick. What? That's fine. <laughs> you put that between bread? Yeah. You mad lad. I, I cut that in slices. I cut it in slices. I put it in like a sandwich with like five circles of it. That's what I eat kielbasa with. It's just, just a large hot dog. So okay, so when when someone has a giant hamburger on the table, is yeah. it is it a pizza now because it's bigger? No, it's a still a big hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I take spaghetti and I, I run that through hot dogs and then I cook the spaghetti and I get like, ooh, it's super trendy, like look at this, look at this cool little hot dog spaghetti. Does that make the spaghetti hot dog? Am Spaghetti's I, am a cucumber. Am I then eating a, what? That's what the other guy said. He said it's cylindrical, so it's a cucumber. Kevin, you've <laughs> you've lost it. You've gone off the deep end. You're done. Spaghetti's a what? Luke says X and Y were the games that got me back into Pokemon after about six years. So I'm keen. Dragonair is my favorite mon. So a mega that's based on a fan made uh ba- based on fan made evos would be sick. Zero percent chance though. Interesting that you'd say that though. Never I, say zero, man. Never say zero. What if they take a bunch of like not fully evolved Pokemon and give them mega forms and just make their their mega forms better base stats than than their evolution friends? Yeah. A big giant Dragonair. Yeah. I would love to see just a Dragonair mega evolution and then like you ruin it all by making it a Dragonite. Take a step back. Okay. Done. They gave Jigglypuff. A paradox mon. They sure Anything did. Anything is possible. They gave Jigglypuff a paradox mon. They gave Mischievous a paradox mon. You know, they've you already know? kind of teased us a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Link says, I'm excited for Legends. I'm hoping that we'll get more lore on AZ and how he potentially relates to Zygarde in some way. I think I'm hoping th- we get AZ flow at ever. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are the most interesting characters in all of Pokemon. I would go as far as to say that. 
Do you think that they were Z was a work in progress and then they just stopped? No, I think it was you never. Think, you think X and Y is finished enough? Yeah, I uh, do. I think it's finished enough. I think they could have gone deeper into it. I think that mm. they never planned to. I think it was a very ambitious because, I mean, if we're going from black to white two to like actual 3D, mm-hmm. that's like the biggest jump they've probably done. That's what they were working on that whole time. And they're just like, mm-hmm. all right, let's put a, put a button on it, move on to the next thing. I hear remakes are fun. Let's go and do Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, because sh- uh, shortest decks, shortest storyline. Yeah. I do think that the outcry of love for uh, X and Y was what got it um, like it expanded on more than black and white mm-hmm. or black to white too. I think that if, you know, response was neutral for all of these games, then they would have just made a remake for black and white. That's fair. Yeah. But instead they're like, all right, let's skip one. Let's make some money. X2, Y2. They could have done X2, Y2. X, 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 Y, X, Y. Y Y X Y Y X Y Z Um Steven says where are the virtual console games? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Like take my money. I already have like the Nintendo Online Plus Plus Plus, but I would definitely like double down on it. Right. Yeah. I would pay a full <laughs> Netflix subscription to <laughs> go and play uh these virtual console games. Uh, let's see. Legends, Pizza, and Mega's Hype. Uh, also, I was too excited for GC2 that I got my mons all ready with EVs, natures, and items and registered without checking my moves. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I hope that didn't bite you in a way that you didn't want to be bit. Meanwhile, he has only two moves on all of his Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Protect and detect. A lot of people are saying that they're just very excited for Zaw. I think, honestly, like, it's just going back to Kalos that's going to be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this does look ambitious. So I'm just excited to see more of the game. I feel like they didn't show us a lot, but maybe that's for the best, because if they did show us something, we would have just crapped on it the whole time. So I'm glad that they didn't show us anything, so we have nothing bad to say. That's true. We would have started with, like, the immensest amount of hype. Look at those trees. Whoa, look at those trees. Then people would come out with being like, oh, you're so hyped for this thing. Well, look at those trees. And then we all would have bought millions of millions of cop- copies anyway, yep. regardless of every boycott that we said that we were going to do. Yep, 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 yep. Remember Umbreon. when they boycotted Sword and Shield for the trees? I do. <laughs> or hey, when they the- boycotted Scarlet and Violet just for existing? <laughs> for the uh, frames. Right. Hey, guess what? Did you know Sword and Shield was the highest grossing Pokemon game? <laughs> It's easy to talk down on on something so popular. Like, I get it. Yeah. Uh, Umbreon says Oreos are sandwich cookies. All off-brand cookies with cream in between the cookies are called sandwich cookies. Also, ice cream sandwiches exist. Yeah. I think now I'm in a calmer place, having been to the beach. And um, I'm, I'm willing to give that oreos are sandwiches and that anything with a thing inside the middle of two other things are sandwiches hot dog still isn't a sandwich it's kevin a won't dog. kevin won't budge on the hot dog uh, thing, the though. um the other thing is okay so what would you consider you know what a choco taco is right a choco taco yeah they don't make no. those no more but you, you know what that is no what's a choco taco canadian over here google choco taco okay c-h-o-c-o Choco Taco. Yeah. Choco Taco is a good humor Briar's ice cream novelty resembling a taco. Really? Would you consider that ice cream or a taco? Oh. Oh. I, uh, I would call it an ice cream taco. (laughs) Which is just longer than calling it the name. Define ice cream taco. (laughs) It's a taco filled with ice cream. No, I would call it a taco. I would call it a taco. But it is a taco containing ice cream. So did you know, you know, the brand Old El Paso, they do like yes. actual like tortillas for burritos and, and Mexican food. Yeah. The, uh, they're now selling cinnamon toast crunch dust taco shells. Oh no, I don't, I don't like it. 
No, no, because here's the thing, because you're thinking of what? You put meat and cheese inside? No. No, you put, you put ice, ice cream. cream inside and you just like drizzle it with stuff. Is that the intent by Old El Paso themselves? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the packaging, okay. it shows. I'm only talking about this because we just got it in my store. Mm-hmm. On the packaging, it shows ice cream inside of the taco shell. Oh. But is it still a taco shell? No, oh, yeah, it's a taco shell. Like made with like corn? Hard shell taco corn, yeah. Oh, Probably. Wow. I don't know. I haven't, I honestly haven't bit into it. So, because if it was I, like, if it was a waffle, I would be down. I'd be 100% down if it's just like the same kind of consistency as like a waffle cone or like an ice cream cone, then I'm, I'm down. You want to turn, you want to put some cinnamon toast, uh, crunch dust on that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, am I one to put like Tostitos corn chips in my ice cream? No. I'm genuinely curious. Maybe it says dessert taco shells, taco Mm. shells. So it might just be made with the same stuff that churros made from. Yeah. And if that's okay. the case, I'm here for it. I'm I'm in. Send I'm it to me. Send me the photo of it. Thank you. One of the the Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that does look good, right? Wait a minute. Mike was Mike said uh, the second I said that to Mike, he's like, I don't know how I feel about that. And then then I showed him the photo of it. He's like, Oh, I want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That <laughs> that's does very look really American good. of you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> uh for me, I because I was just in Florida. Um, I went to Trader Joe's and I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's mm-hmm. and I'm so glad I did because Trader Joe's has this, uh, cookie butter that I just, I go crazy for. We don't is have it that. that is it that one that's in the red packaging? It's like, biscuit. Uh, yes, but this one was in mean. green packaging this time. Oh, okay. But it's, it's the one that you, you kind of go to your local bodega. You get those uh, five cent cookies and they come in like little tiny packages. And yeah, like, I guess so. I don't know. We don't. We don't have bodegas here. <laughs> what do you? What, we have mooses. <laughs> oh no! What's the plural of moose? Uh, uh, moose. Oh, it's is it actually just fish? Fish? I don't know, man. We're we're a city. <laughs> we're a city over here. We don't have we don't have moose here. A a. Maybe we do. I don't know. Oh man, stop sending me pictures of the, the cinnamon <laughs> toast crunch dessert taco shell. It looks so good. <laughs> Blasted really with cinna dust. Like, uh, we also do sell cinna dust in by itself. In, what? Yeah. yeah. Cinnamon toast crunch. I, I, is it post or Kellogg? It's one of them. Post, they, I think. They make cinna dust and it's in our spice aisle next to the cinnamon, which is a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. Wow. I'm trying to find out if that's Kellogg's or Post. It's one of those two. I'm pretty sure it's Post. It's always one of those two. It's always, it's always General Mills. <gasps> There's a third. <sighs> yeah. Oh, General Mills. You made all of your cereals into bars. Once. They're all probably the same owner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's yeah, how this usually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is the same, like, big, like, long mustached man who just goes, nah. It's so funny how, like, sitting at the top. Every country has a law for against monopolies, but every monopoly just pretends like it's multiple different businesses. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, loophole. We're well, all doing it. Apple's catching a little bit of flack for that right now. What are they doing? Sounds fun. Oh, I saw, um, this, I saw my stock went down. So good to know. <laughs> <laughs> good to know actually why. Yeah, it, they are being called out for uh, having their uh, monopoly includes some like exclusionary exclusionary tactics. Um, oh yeah, like the 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 lightning cable. They had to switch sure. on that, right? Yeah, yeah, the lightning cable is one of them. The uh, the green green text from anyone who isn't a uh, an Apple user uh, is mm. one of them. I guess that um, does make sense. Yeah, because the data is sent differently. That's why it appears as as green on the screen because the it's taking a different path. No, not just that. Have you ever received? You haven't because oh you no, because I'm an Android user, but I know about it. Do you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> are, you, are you talking about how when you send like pictures or videos, it's like really bad quality? Get out of my head! <laughs> stop, stop talking to me! Get out, get out of here! You, you haven't talked to me in two weeks, and suddenly you read my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could, so I I could see that was where the Mary. train of thought was going. Yeah. Never sent photos to Mary. She's like, send it to me on WhatsApp because she used, she's an Android user. Yes. It, the, the the quality goes down disgustingly. It's really bad. Yeah. And uh, they, they say that that's an exclusionary thing, exclusionary thing mm-hmm. where, you know, 
it kind of influences anyone who isn't an Apple user to go and buy an Apple uh, device so that they can experience things the the way that it's meant to be experienced. Also, I think every your phone essentially gets bricked if it if it's not new enough, right? For the newest update. I don't actually Apple. know about that, but oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the late the older your phone is, you stop getting iOS updates. I don't think there's so a new apps good can't way around go on. That. Yeah. Right. I don't think there's a good way around that. But like, yeah, I, I agree that it's there, but like unless you want to go and make a new company every time you make a new Apple phone, then like yes. it's gonna be impossible to like update the Apple version one with or like the iPhone six or like anything like that with uh with new hardware or new. We're a firmware. Pokemon podcast. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Not anymore. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Uh, folks, if you want to go and check out uh, Pokey Sports in other places that isn't just two dudes babbling on for far too long. Uh, you know what? I do like banter podcasts. Though. They're the best. Oh, no, they're the best. That is what I'm trying to push this toward. Oh, OK. <laughs> like, let's be honest. I enjoy this way more. You can go and do that on YouTube, youtube.com slash pokesports. You can go and uh, check out uh, the members only area. If you want to go and see the preach, you can go and check out Patreon. If you want to go and see the preach, if you go on Patreon, you can go and see Kevin uh, mess around with the Articuno team next week. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be spoiler fun. alert. It mm-hmm. does better than the last team. It's so good. What was the last team? Uh, one in four, both videos. Hey, <laughs> and now you don't have to watch that one. <laughs> but next week it'll be something different. Uh, so you can go and do those folks. If you enjoy the podcast, go and do something about it. Go and, uh, give us a, a, a rating on Apple, uh, on the iTunes store. Is that it still? Or am I living in the past? Apple podcasts. Apple podcasts. That's an exclusionary tactic too. Yeah. Why see, I don't why know about not it. Just podcasts. Exactly. <laughs> uh, go and answer the Q and a on Spotify. If you're over there, uh, and f- folks, we'll see you next week. Cause we're back. We're back, baby. Back Until I'm than ever. in Florida in two Again. weeks. Yeah. Another one. Another one. See you then. Bye bye. <laughs>